What in the heck is this guy all about? Hey. Not a halo. <laughs> so you want a little magnifying glass into who the heck is this guy preaching under a United Nations of Love flag? For our beloved love of the ages. Who the heck is this guy that's wearing a St. Clair College t-shirt? I am a writer. I have written 20 books, 20 years, times 10. No, about 200, 200 books. Google my name, Daniel F. Owsley, O-W-S-L-E-Y, and you will find, just do images, and you'll see some of the hundreds of my titles. I am well-researched. I come not at you ignorantly. I have been to the school of neology. I share something in common with Alexander the Great, and I, I, I kid you not, uh, you see, Alexander was told, who you are in the word of God by Nathan, you are undefeatable. And the same thing has happened to me 30 years ago. So I wrote, and I wrote, and I wrote, and I wrote for 20 years to myself, like a love letter to the Lord. So now I'm preaching just to the Lord, right here, because I am the ignored Latter-day Revelator of Revelation, <laughs> one that has the gift of Daniel, of uh, old, the gift of the Holy Spirit, and I invite you to come out with me to, to put a big magnifying glass on love. Let's check that out, because our understandings of love have been so puny. We haven't even understood that Love isn't even love uh, if there's conditions. That is the gross darkness of all of mankind. And we have to realize that love is forgiveness. Forgiveness is love. It is time to raise up the, the golden age, the age of Christ's love. And in these days, we can be so happy. Because the truth is, no prophecy has even been understood on planet Earth. Unless you put a magnifying glass on this one, on the seventh trumpet of the apocalypse. <laughs> because it was last, it was first, we leaned unto our own understandings. So take a close look at this. Because now the mystery of God is over, Revelation 10, 7. Because the first is last, and the last is first. And God warned us not to lean unto our own understanding, but we have anyway. And when the seven trumpets sounded, guess what happened? All nations immediately became the Lord. Let's put a, a magnifying glass on that. All nations immediately became the Lord. Why? Because they were always his. Why were they always his? Because he says so. He is God. He say that I am the Lord God of all mankind, Jeremiah 32, 27. And his covenant was always written, believe it or not, for all mankind, <laughs> every single one of us. And it's a covenant of love because he is love. And those who love are born of him and know him because he is love. Jesus is love. God is love. They are love, one united in love. So... Uh, Love so loved the world that he gave his only begotten love so whosoever would love and not commit the blasphemy of the Holy Spirit would have everlasting love and everlasting life, says the Lord God Almighty. So who is this guy? My name is Daniel. I'm 60 years old. I am alcoholic. Um, I am a seller of fish and meat, and I've been a grocer. A merchant like Muhammad for 20 years and I've written 200 books and I am the writer of the everlasting gospel of Revelation 14 the writer of the um, flying scroll of Zechariah 5 I am the one foretold the alcoholic of Zechariah 3 
called Joshua. Water, steam, and ice, it's all the same guy. Do you see Yeshua, Jesus, it's all the same guy. I am Shiloh, one whose eyes are red and dull of wine. I might be slurring a little bit. I've had a couple drinks already. But the just will live by my faith, even though I've been tra transgressed by alcohol and my soul has not always been upright, and nobody else's has either. But I am already as hell, and I will never be satisfied as I embrace all people of the earth unto myself. God has never done anything unless he sends a writer. I am the strong and mighty one of Isaiah 28, line by line, precept by precept, as a destroying storm. Why? Because the world was written a uh, message by Jeremiah uh, to tear down all kingdoms of man, all imaginations not built solely upon his unconditional love, our creator. And that is why the strong and mighty one would be an, as a destroying storm to pull down all distortional understanding. For it is written in the word of God that up until now, uh, we've been looking through a glass darkly, only knowing in part, only seeing in part. Now that the kingdom age veil has ripped the, in these days of Daniel 12, only now may the wise sh uh, shine as the stars, the angels that we were fearfully and wonderfully created to be. Because the truth is, look at yourself in the mirror and behold a God in the mirror. That is what Jesus said in John 10. I tell you truly, verily, verily, I say unto you, as Elijah, as Shiloh, as Joshua, as the entire revelator, we are angels in the flesh. That is why Jesus said that we are gods in John 10, because the, see, the first is last, and the last is first. And the glory of his latter house is greater than that of the former. All of creation has been groaning with great expectation for the revelation of who we are. And I ain't Dennis the Menace. I know it's my own. <laughs> oh, geez. But I do know this, that uh, in the Word of God, it is foretold that we will be as the angels, neither male nor female, because every single one of us born of love, uh, we, we know him if we keep our love alive. So it's time that we sing a brand new song, the song of revelation of revelation, the song that will bring validity to the kingdom age and cause it to rise, not by power nor by might, but by the spirit of love. So if, if uh, my advice to all of you is, is seek ye the first kingdom of God, the kingdom of love, and all things shall be added unto you. And at the end of the day, everyone will get the same pay. Everyone gets the same inheritance, everlasting life, abundantly unending because of who we are. We are a royal priesthood. So no more be blind walking as a blind man. God is giving <laughs> chapter and verse, line by line, and the Lord God is saying, in these days, we will forgive all of your sins, except the unforgivable sin. We, the Elohim, the many, the plurality of the singularity. And that is why Buddhism and Hinduism have seen aspects of the plurality. So condemn them now, judge not that you be not judged. And But if people disobey our command, says the Lord, our beloved, blessed, and the adored, who is our carpenter of the ages, who commands everything to come tumbling, tumbling down. Uh, within a time, times and half a time, the shattering of the power of the holy people happens from the time that the everlasting gospel is put into this earth. And one year, over one year has passed, so there are two and a half more years before religion collapses on planet earth, if you can believe that. Um, so, praise God, the Lord says, We will condemn your souls within the book of life unto the most great fire if lazy, ignorant ones, lukewarm, committing blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, letting God in them go out his light because he is love. And if you let that go out, that is spiritual suicide. And all such unloving people would perish. And nor would we be dealing unjustly with men, says the Lord, even to the extent of one speck 
upon a date stone, time for an old proclamation, and yet new, to make all things new and restore all things. Because this is one world with one people, with one beloved love of always, our, our Emmanuel, God with us again soon. So, O oh, people of the earth, as Christ said, I say again, verily, verily, I say unto you, the most resplendent light of Allah, Elohim, Adonai, our Lord God Almighty, our majesty of majesties has appeared within your midst, midst within this word of his overflowing uh, living waters of the great ocean of his adoration for one and all of us as he pours out upon all flesh his love his beneficence and the magnificence thereof of the splendor of that benevolence that he would send his charity to all peoples to all all over the circle of earth and that his very best good tidings and very best good wishes could be as a falling star that all may have their wish upon and because he desires only to have us all guided into becoming uh, walking in the, the, the ways of peace. And now he has given uh, a compass unto mankind so that we, to enable us all to be able to step out of the earth's gross darkness of love. For every single person on earth desire unconditional love and none of them wants to have it. What's up with that? <laughs> this is the kingdom age uh, quandary the puzzle of puzzles to which the solution is love and he alone is the truest light and it's time to walk the Lord's brightest path of truth so let it be known that our Lord God has out of sheer nothingness out of absolutely nothingness and through the potency of his command he has created the heavens and the earth and all mysteries that have formerly been between in between them this world was created by he with very great age, ancient on day one, part of God's revealed mystery unto mankind. And it is the days for an empire of God upon earth, an empire of love for all people. For these are the days of Elijah, the days of the latter day Daniel, Shiloh. And in these days, let all of the sons of Adam's withering race comprehend that our Lord God he is the single and the peerless in his eternal unity with none to join partner with his holy essence. Neither is there any soul except for his own self who could possibly be uh, befitting uh, in any way to comprehend his ways or the multitudes of his overflowing signs that have long been showering the earth as subtle miracles unseen. So seek ye first the kingdom of love, O people of the earth, truly, truly, as the Lord always said unto you, who will come and feed the master's household meat while the master is away? So know that the Lord's remembrance has finally come unto you all over the circle of the earth from that icon of love after a long interval during which there were no messengers to bless his people. Now is the time uh, of the refiner's fire for his cleansing as foretold a time of beauty a time of wonder a time of bliss a time of tranquility and serenity all rolled up into a great big ball of kingdom age peace love and hope released by our lord of everlasting lights far beyond infinity and far beyond that now is the time of that purification when that sender of the breath of creation and founder of heaven may finally purge and uh, purify all of us from the uncleanliness that comes from lovelessness and unforgiveness and bitterness and thankfulness uh, not having. And so it's time to prepare all the world in Zamzam-like anticipation of a miracle for the forthcoming day of God for it is clearly written that all good things shall be added unto all those who are hungry, but those who are not shall receive no bread of life at all. No soup for you. Get to the back of the line. <laughs> Seinfeld, they had it down, right? 
So seek ye first the wholeheartedly all divine blessings from him. I say to all my brethren of love, and uh, seek that regardless of how they manifest, so that you might show yourself approved unto our Lord God Almighty, who is our beloved, blessed, and the adored, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. For all those seeking him shall find him, if they search with all their hearts, passionately alive, walking as little children, leaving the land of uh, the, the, the walking dead, having a form of godliness, but denying the power of love whom he is. So thus saith the source of wisdom that dwells upon earth, says our Lord God, it's time that all people of love would now proclaim evermore the total blessed blessing for the kingdom age, says the Lord, that I am now sending down to mankind as a token of my most merciful grace. For if you do not, if you will not embrace it, our pious secret of earth's harvest could never be made fully known unto the ones who have fervently cried out for it uh, during the t uh, uh, terribly t turbulent times of the drought of my word. My word is alive, says the Lord, and it is time to arise to a new understanding of his love being boundless and never being able to be uh, uh, tied down. And yet mankind was in no wise forsaken or forgotten by us, says the Lord. So these are the days of, of truth. Just, it's time to go ballistic with our passion. <laughs>